good morning we're so glad you're here we're back to daily vlogging so if you enjoyed this video make sure you come back the next day and the next day the next day we are back in chicago if you couldn't tell by my background i have a new sweatshirt we'll talk a little bit more about these things later but we have made it safe back home after our like nine day ad ex adventure across the country to do multiple multiple things um but we are glad to be back home. I'm out walking Eve this morning. You know that Peter has introed on his walk with Eve. But I want to say good morning to Jamesy. One, look at those mixed pajamas. Two, it's so happy to be home with his toys. We got home last night pretty early and it was nice. We just hung out again. James was so excited to be home. Like, it was so sweet seeing him get excited to like just be here again um and we ordered ramen and we just like hung out kind of went to bed early um and it was good the drive home was uneventful and we're back in chicago and it's so nice to have gotten home on a saturday and i have to dive right back into work the next day so we're gonna take advantage of our Sunday and get some donuts and honestly like we did not unpack yesterday whatsoever so we will have to do that but um, other than that we have no plans besides Peter is picking up the Sicard fam from the airport way later on they've been in Florida in Naples So we, Sarah wanted to go on a little walk and get some donuts. Uh -huh. um, but James is in the car holding Sarah's, like the last bits of Sarah's, like. Peach or butter? I'm a big fan of peach, I realize. Really? Yeah. But it's pretty chilly. It's like 36. Yeah. Um, but it feels good to be out in the neighborhood. I think we should try to go out later. Yeah. Somewhere. Do something. Right. Um, but today is more like a rebound day. Did you we, talk much about our time in North Carolina? No, I said we would later. Okay. And I showed my Marine when he gets on underneath my Nick yeah. Miller and Count Meg's wholesaler <laughs> jacket. It was just really special. Yeah. We got newsies on. Look at this train track they made. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Alright. It's about. 12.40, James was going out for a nap. He should have gone out for a little bit ago, but we were busy. Um, I had to unload the car because we didn't do much of that yesterday. Um, and then I had to vacuum and clean it, which felt good, but there's a purpose because I have to actually pick up the cards later tonight from the airport because they've been in Florida visiting Grant's parents. Because it's set up the way that we think we're gonna have it set up once Teddy gets here, with Sarah's like captain seat down and just the third row up with Baby in the second row, baby in the third row, Sarah in the third row, while Teddy needs her there. So I'm excited because then there's all this open space um, to put bags or change babies or whatever. But I'm gonna take a fiver while Sarah puts him down. Um, I love that vacuum in that car. It's my favorite thing about the entire car is that vacuum. I didn't think that that was gonna be the case, but the car looks pristine and we just had it drove 2,000, over 2,000 miles over the past nine days. Guess what I'm doing? Getting the bassinet out from underneath our secret under mattress storage. There it is, there's the base. Oh gosh. Do 
remember this was your very first bed. You're so sleepy in it. You're way too big for it now. Yeah. But you're gonna share it with your little brother, right? Mm -hmm. So soon. Six weeks, right? Yeah, you're like, I should probably like pack a hospital bag and like get some clothes. Get some stuff ready. <laughs> So, our bassinet is assembled again. Nice to see if it fits next to our new bedroom, our bigger bedroom set. Yeah, and smaller bedroom. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Ooh, many hours later. I don't even know the last thing I vlogged. Was it really the... I showed we were watching... Movie. What movie? Sarah fell asleep. James is up from his nap, ready to go. It's 6 p.m. Our kind of night, our day, like, went to like a sleepy, relaxing stage. But we did, hey, look, we did put away all this stuff. I didn't know if we showed that. Oh, we unloaded the car. Oh, and, you showed the bassinet. That's what you And, and all right, we unloaded the car and put it all here. And we all put it away. And now we've got a mound of laundry to do. <laughs> Those are all different bags from different locations we stayed in. Are you sitting in a basket? Why are you sitting in a basket? What pain and panic? Oh yeah? Are you just stepping on stuff? What do you think? Busy at work. Oh yeah, baby. We ventured out. Yeah, so we need to go to Target to grab things because our baby is now like a full-fledged toddler <laughs> since the last time we were home and we actually need to get like safety clips for all of our cabinets. Yeah, we need to like finally baby proof. Yeah. I started putting blood like electrical blood caps <laughs> before we went to our adventure. But and yeah, we're gonna get some dinner. We're gonna get dinner and then we're gonna get sheets at Target too. Oh, finally be out of our out of our, our Christmas. Thing the call that is. And then I have to, I'm gonna have a late night because I have to, the, it's supposed to rain here like 100% chance in the next like hour or two. And Christina and Grant are gonna be in Atlanta soon doing a connected flight back to the Midway and their flight has been delayed so far like an hour and 15. Boy. So. And their children. And their children, yes. But I think I'll pick them right now at 11.15. Bring them back to their house and then coming back to our apartment. Nice. <laughs> so our food has arrived. It was ready. I went to go pick it up. I got my classic. Anything in an edible vessel, I get broccoli cheddar in a bread bowl. Sarah and James are going to share the broccoli mac and cheese because they're out of the regular mac and cheese. And Sarah, you got to you pick two. So delicious. <laughs> he keeps getting the shivers because it's kind of cold outside. <laughs> He's a Florida boy born. <laughs> and I got... This just makes me think of Awesome Mix Live. They're gonna announce something tomorrow. Yeah. When you're, we when saw this vlog is live. It says it said Awesome Mix Live Cosmic Rewind News Monday. But we think how could they have a summer? They have a little bit of stretch between Flower and Garden and Food and Wine concerts. But they need something on the American Garden stage. Yeah. So I think they're gonna they're gonna have the Awesome Mix Live come back to celebrate the opening right. of the attraction. Why wouldn't they promote? Right. The new roller coaster. So we're basically gonna have to move back to Florida this summer. What did you get? Um, French onion soup and this chipotle chicken sandwich without condiments. Delicious. This is all gonna be gone in four seconds. I think Panera is really worth eating inside because I think the portions are. Good. That was exactly what I had a taste for, but I'm like third trimester. Nausea is hitting, you hard. hitting me hard, and like I don't know if I just didn't experience this with James, but like I'm still like 
having serious aversions to cooking. We do need to go grocery shopping because we were just out of town and we're in that middle ground of like needing to go after clearing out our fridge. But like the thought of even like coming up with a grocery list, it's like I'm in the first trimester. Turn left onto North so Elston Avenue. Any easy recipe ideas, please put them in the comments below because I'm hungry, like I have an appetite, but it's hitting me hard. Peter said all the reviews about this Target was how great its wine section is. Look at this. That is impressive. We didn't even show you in the front. There's like, I'll show you before we leave, like giant tables of wine. I, I told Sarah, like when you look at the comments on this Target, like everyone's like, it's always wine o'clock in here. See if he does. He's been starting to dance when he likes the taste or something. Okay. No dance. <laughs> No dance, but a cute smile. Ooh, some kicking. He's also in the craziest of it. Because we really need to do laundry after our, our week away. Okay, let's see if there'll be a dance this time. <laughs> Big smile, Big smile. just no dance moves. James spilled a bunch of lemonade on himself, but he doesn't realize I got rid of it. I didn't show you the wine section because we realized the security was right there. So we're gonna pack up, get out of here. We but we got sheets? got some new sheets because we ordered a fancy new comforter. Yeah, I'll show that you. We've been, uh, like, we've been eyeing for a while now. It's exciting. I'm excited. We're gonna get pictures locks. printed. We have we've lived in our apartment a year and we have never put up <laughs> the artwork for our room. So we're gonna do that. Please do not mind my splotchy skin. Um, I've said it before, this dry, the dryness in Chicago does not agree with me. We were just kind of far south and being outside, it did well for my skin and it's just like not being, this air is not kind to it. Um, but I did just do like some oil treatment I do and like you're actually supposed to like rinse it off my skin like sucks it in so fast like I barely have a chance to <laughs> rinse it off all right here is our new bassinet situation don't mind the messy um what is that called a dresser it's got a mask screwdriver all sorts of stuff still unpacking but it is blocking a couple of my drawers we have a little bit of space on Peter's side. Our room is like a strange shape. You can tell the apartment originally ended here and this is like an addition. So it's kind of like this like T shape. So it is pretty narrow. When we moved here and we had James in the bassinet, our bed was on a diagonal. And since then we had acquired my parents' bedroom set, which is a lot larger than what we had before. Just flows better this way. But I, Peter was like, do you want to just like take off the actual bassinet for now so it's not in your way? But the whole point of me having it here is to get used to it. I think I'm probably going to have to rearrange some drawers. Um, mm -hmm. And honestly, like I can put like winter stuff on that side. I can put anything that doesn't fit me um, from being eight months pregnant and, and eventually postpartum. So I'll probably just use those drawers over here. But this is very exciting. Also exciting, we bought a new comforter cover today and the sheets. They feel really fresh and nice. They are the um, like t-shirt material from Target. Peter and I are both like hot boxes when we sleep. So we're a little bit worried they're gonna be toasty. But we had flannel sheets at Christmas in our room. Again, like it's this addition. And so it doesn't have as good of insulation because it's like frame compared to like the rest of our brick building. Um, but so far they feel really soft and comfy. You guys were super helpful when I was trying to figure out like what combination of sheets and duvet cover we wanted to go with. Um, and so we decided to go with the higher quality duvet cover because we knew we could take it off and wash it. It had great reviews for washing. Um, and then darker sheets. We typically would do changes on 
like the sheets and not the comforter. We're also thinking about getting a like a like a Moses basket changing top situation for my dresser because we don't have a changing table so that I would actually like stand up and do changes. So we decided to do Target, a little bit less expensive on the sheets, even though they are darker, um, just because we figure like they'll probably see like the brunt of newborn life. So that's where we went on that. And I'm excited to show you how they look. They're so, they're so beautiful. So we went with this embroidered, beautiful comforter from Pottery Barn and it was on sale like you can see their limited time offer but I would like to do a lot of like research and review and like review searching when I'm buying stuff online because I just know like if I don't hold it myself like I do want to get as like good of a like an idea of what I'm buying if I'm not buying it in person and so I was just looking at to see if it was comfortable with like the embroidery if it was just on the one side and kind of getting like a better idea about that because we want to actually use it as a duvet cover for our new down comforter that we got like at Christmas. And while I was doing that, I found the exact size that we need brand new on eBay being sold for like $50, even less. So it is being like it is a resell so like it won't be as easy to like return if we need to but we really really love it. it has great reviews we're really happy with it we did have to buy the two pillow shams from pottery barn um but those were also on sale so all of that will get here this weekend and then i'm hopeful that we're gonna hang some wedding pictures i have my like bouquet in a shadow box from our wedding kind of similar in our old bedroom we kind of switch things around, but we're going to get some pictures printed to go above Peter's dresser. It's kind of been really simple in here. Some stuff to go above the TV, which is kind of like a wonky composition. The walls in here are just all like strange sizes. So I don't know, maybe something to go over the heater, maybe something on one of those walls. This room is so wonky. Like you can even see like the ceiling like didn't match up so there's this like diagonal bit. I know for sure there'll be three frames that go over there and then probably a bigger frame over there. We've always had wedding stuff in our bedroom and like right now our bedroom is pretty formal with the um, furniture we have and like these, what is that like floor, velour curtains. Um, so it is a little bit more formal in here so I've always kind of gone like wedding photos but now we have kids or you know plural singular whatever so something i've really really wanted to do is get professional photos taken of us so it'll probably start out as more so wedding photos and then transition all right i'm at midway airport waiting for the sicard clan to get their bags and we're gonna toss them in this here minivan all set up with the second seat down and then drop them off and head home it is rainy and cold out i was just looking all over the apartment for evie come to find out she's just snug in her little bed this is the very first bed she ever had she's had other beds but she's always just gone back to that one all right i am going to just sign off for us Peter's getting back a little bit later than we expected, and I'm sleepy and just got finished editing. So real quick, the daily message. We brought this with us on our travels and we totally forgot um, to do it, but I'll just pick back up. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Martin Luther King Jr. So very true. Um, I know we mentioned that we were going to chat a little bit more about our travels, but I feel like a lot of this end of the vlog has been my, just my talking face. But if Peter wants to share anything specific, he said he would over the next couple of days. Um, but like I said earlier, it was extremely special. It was extremely um, important for me. A lot of Peter's family members I never met before and I never did get to meet his pop pop um, but being able to celebrate his life was really really special he's a very important person in 
our life and Peter's family's life and um, he had full military honors at his services which was just you know no words to really explain um, being able to witness that um, and it was just I think I think the perfect word for it is special and obviously just so valuable to have that time with everybody getting to be together while we're all mourning the, the loss of this incredible man um, so with that I will say it is good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>